Hello and welcome to my channel, Creative Gaming. My name is Stothia, and as you can see, I've done a little bit of work since the last time I've set up a wheat farm. Here in the background, I have laid out the general idea for the first build we're going to make, and I've been growing some sugar canes. Um, but I've also been down mining, and I've been exploring it and gathering some resources. So, that's pretty cool. Um, a few, I think like 500 bucks that way, I found one of those destroyed portal generations. And while that was really cool, uh, I'm probably gonna have to, like, I'm probably gonna remove it at some point. Of it uh, went to gather some clay because I wanted to build with red terracotta. So I've I've done that. I have some wood. I don't think we have enough wood yet for the project I'm going to do. But I do think I have a pretty good start. But what's really awesome is that I have found diamonds already. So, uh, we're totally going to use these diamonds, and I was actually thinking, because I already got 30 XP, that we could, already now, go down and take some, some obsidian, because it would be pretty cool to get enchanting, and I just realized that I'm still bumping my head. I, I added staircases so it would go faster going up and down through the mine. Oh, well, faster up. So I don't have to jump all the time. Uh, but let's remove this real quick and then, and then let's get some lava. So I've done a little bit of a strip mine. I haven't gone too far in either direction yet. But there is lava right around the corner over here so let's just dig up and what's that a skeleton i think oh look at that i missed i missed iron like right there <laughs> i'm an idiot i'll come back for that at some point um but so we're going to dig down right there and we're going that's not right we're going to do like that so uh if there's lava underneath here, we won't get sucked into it and burn to our death. And that was 16 pieces of obsidian. I only need four right now, but I'm going to come back to get to to do another portal at some point. So better to get more now than to come back later when I don't want to do this. Because it takes a long time. That just took like five minutes or something. Then we need two diamonds, we need a piece of leather, and we need some sugar cane, because we need to create paper, and then it's like this, if I remember correctly, and it was, um, and the obsidian can go in my good chest. I forgot my water down there. Jesus, I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, that wasn't exactly a part of the plan, but we can just go out here and get some more water. And uh, we still have turtles. We still have a lot of turtles out here. And we should possibly uh, farm this real quick. Because I am 
I don't, I don't honestly remember how much sugarcane I have to use, but I hope to get a full enchanting setup so I can get the highest level enchant uh, sooner or later. I think what's really holding me back is the lack of cows, as it, as it seems like as it seems right now, but that shouldn't be a problem long term, I hope. <laughs> I hope. I very much hope. And we can just let the farm grow for a little bit longer. And we still have our beehive. I haven't seen any more bees. So that's a little bit sad because the bees are cute. So let's just plop our enchanting table down right here and let's take a little bit of lapis and let's enchant this with oh guard what enchant should we take what enchant should we take efficiency one and we just got efficiency one which is all right we can always take some leather and do some book enchantments as well if i want to i should have levels enough to do so at least we could do some more efficiency I can get some protectile. Oh, sharpness aren't bad. I don't know. We're just gonna take power and I can get some more sharpness. And then to make this new pickaxe as good as possible, uh, we are going to do an anvil so that we can combine our pickaxe and our second efficiency book. Because that, that weren't all that expensive. Is it worth it doing a diamond sword at this point in time? It is. We're doing a diamond sword as well. I want a diamond sword. I want to look cool. Um, our chest plate can get Protectile protection. And our sword is now sharpness, sharpness two. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and our old sword can go in there. We're not going to need it anymore. Little Mr. Skeleton can die. That, wait, was that just a one head? It was. We, we've barely been playing for a couple of hours and we're already one hitting <laughs> Jesus. But I thought it might be a little bit boring to just watch from my perspective as I start to build up and figure this thing out. So I've set a little something up. Give me a moment. And by that I mean, look at this! I have gotten myself set up a cam account so you guys can see from a different perspective as I'm running around building stuff. And uh, say hello to my cam account.
Alright, so like I told you, I didn't know if I would have enough and that I probably wouldn't have and I was right. So the next step we're going to have to do is to gather some more wood. But first I thought that we could do a little bit of farming very quickly and sleep once again. Uh, and then we'll see if we're gonna build any more today. Um, and just, just, just to talk a little, uh, I don't really know how to do this because it gets kind of weird if there's two blocks here, but I don't want this to look flat either. So I might just take a break and figure out the design because this is going to be a small barn where underground there's going to be a train station. This is like a central point and right now this is a temporary wheat farm. But when we get lily pads, I'm going to, over most of this plain area, uh, do different kinds of farms. Uh, including some bees and some honey things. So that, I think, is going to be really cool. Um, it's probably also going to be here if I'm going to build a stable for, like, horses and, and stuff like that. But we're going to need a lot more wood, and I'm going to have to figure out the design of this. And there's going to be some excavation and some land transforming in the background. But that's not too interesting to watch, so let's farm. Alright, so I've been running around farming a little bit and thinking about how to do this. So I made it one block uh, less on each side um, and made it more symmetrical inside. So we don't have a uh, three and three and five and five, but it's four between all the pillars. Uh, with the exception of this one and the front. And I'm kind of trying to figure out how to make the front look a little bit cooler. And I think some staircases might do good. But I am on that point where I think I might want to use some spruce wood instead of just normal oak. Um, I think we need, like, a contrast color. Um, so we are now, despite it 
going to be night really soon, going to go to the forest where we can get some spruce wood because that should be just right around the corner. And I really think that is going to top it off and make it even better. So, I thought maybe it's a good idea to talk about one of the reasons to why is it now that I decide to actually attempt to finish Minecraft? And I feel like I have a really good answer for you guys. So, the thing is, as a lot of people in the world, we are currently in quarantine. It's the second round of quarantine that Denmark is in. And... I just felt like maybe, maybe because I got so much extra time on my hands, this would be the perfect opportunity to actually sit down and play Minecraft. Secondly, I got re-motivated to play Minecraft through YouTube videos. There is this person, I don't remember his username, but he's been doing this hardcore survival series where he survives a hundred days between every video um which is definitely something that i have enjoyed watching because it's so i mean it's not really that different it's seen before i'm sure but it got really popular over the last over the last while with covid and quarantine and from there, I just kind of couldn't stop myself. So while I was doing schoolwork in the background, I would have a YouTube video running. And sometimes it would be Grian, or it would be Good Times with Scar, or someone like that. I really enjoyed watching those videos. I really enjoyed watching them built. And... Despite the fact that I haven't really played Minecraft a lot since since Wolfencraft was closed down, which is still my like point of um, this is like where my Minecraft use died significantly because while I had been on Wolfencraft that over a summer break, I had easily used 200, 250 hours a month on, on the Wolfencraft micro server, and I just... And I just... And, and I tried to find other good servers too, but I kinda went dead in it, and now I just want to get back into it, and doing this project and actually figuring out how to set a cam account up and stuff like that just seems so fun and I wish I had done this ages ago because I really should have. But so that's why I'm doing it now, a combination of the fact that COVID's a thing but also the fact that I just, I refound really the motivation I wanted to try out. And there over is that portal that I talked about in the beginning of the episode. So, I'm gonna get a little bit more wood and then I'm gonna return to my base to see if this is the right color. I do think the spruce wood is really adding something to the build and that's totally the way we're going to go. But I think that was all the time we had for this episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Which I know is a really boring name for a Minecraft series. Like everyone has called it a Let's Play at some point. But I just felt like that was the right name to call it. Because we are just very simply playing Minecraft. There's no mods. There's nothing special about it it's just plain vanilla minecraft so let's play minecraft oh that's a zombie villager i'm not gonna keep it though i'm not gonna keep him but we are going to play with villagers at some point but till i see you next time i hope you are going to have a really amazing day and I can't wait to play some more on this 
on on this game because it's been a long time if you are enjoying what you see so far it would be really nice if you would like this video and comment with a comment below about what you think of of, of all the idea and what we're doing so far uh and if you have any ideas or anything you want to see me do in these episodes that's more than welcome as well and so you don't miss out on any future videos of mine it would be amazing if you click that little subscribe icon down below and if you really want to have all the notifications then click the little bell and if you want more from me there is a ton of links in the description box below i'm not really active anywhere anymore though so that might be a little boring. See you next time.